Raft in, 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 the, in the mix. mix. In the mix. Hey guys, this is Rick here. Yeah, it's a hot week in Taiwan. I've been playing some uh, some basketball there and uh, having some fun, trying to get back into shape a little bit more. You know, the late nights are not very good for your health. I've been testing my laptop for the last week, uh, doing some audio and video edits as well, and looking at my I got my phone up here so I can remember what I need to, to discuss here. When we're running only audio sets, things were working very well, uh, no problems there. But when I ran video on Windows 8 using the Matrotska, um, I had s several issues. One of them was uh, disappearing cues. I would load tracks into either side and then suddenly the tracks didn't have their cue information. If I tapped the dicer to bring up the cue points, it did jump to it and then the cues appeared. But otherwise it would just load like the first one, the first one it auto played from, which is a little bit weird. Also with um, Serato DJ, I find that the cue points on the, on the uh, timeline there, when you're playing the track, they're not that visible compared to Scratch Live. They're a little bit small. And especially if you have a beat grid over top, uh, the beat grid line actually covers the queue, so it's much more difficult to to see. Yeah, Serato Video crashed twice during a set. I'm thinking this might be due to the Matrotska. I'm going to do a quick test tonight and uh, and see how it runs with uh, just QuickTime because now my PC is more than powerful enough to handle just QuickTime. So I'm going to try that and see, or it could be the the certain version of Matroska I'm using. So I'll try and change that and see if that works. When I was putting it onto internal mode a couple of times, there was a bit more lag I found in Serato DJ rather than Scratch Live, which seems instantaneous on my old PC. Just found it just a little bit more laggy, probably the new software, because my new PC is four times as powerful as my last one. So if I load up Scratch Live, it should be like buttery smooth. So I'm thinking it's the new software. A weird thing, when I was using Alt-Tab, because often when I'm playing, I'll use Alt-Tab to switch between my programs when I'm uh, DJing. If I need to grab some information quickly or look up some crazy audio track that uh, a friend's asked for or customers asked for, maybe I'll do Alt-Tab to get to a different program. Usually, I've never had problems with it, but running Windows 8 using Serato DJ, the monitor just disappeared, just went right off. And that's really weird. It may be a bug in the software. I'll probably have to report it to Serato and see if uh, they can get it looked at and or fix. There's one video that froze. I was playing LMFAO's uh, I Am Not A... Mm. <laughs> I was playing that video. And um, yeah, the, the video just froze. So that video actually had some issues in any case. I'm gonna try and re-encode it and see if it was the video and or the player. I'm not too sure yet, so we'll check it out. Couple of issues, but nothing, nothing groundbreaking. The audio didn't stop during any of my sets, so <clears throat> um, yeah, it's stable, not an issue for PC users. And you know, do what you think is best for your set and best for your style. Just because everyone uses one style doesn't mean that has to be you, right? So yeah, now let's look at. I have some stuff to going on this week. We have uh, audio and video remixes, so uh, let me show you a little bit about that now. Okay, so this week I was doing some audio and video edits. Uh, I did three audio edits so far. Uh, first one we're starting off with is uh, Rio's uh, featuring Eugene's One in a Million. I'm using Sony Acid Pro here to do my remixes. And uh, in this case, I made the extended uh, remix into a power, a quick hitter in order for it to be played in the club with uh, less of a break. The original extended remix had a long intro and I've cut that down here. And it had a nice big break here where it's just Eugene singing with, without any beats or whatever. And yeah, I mean, the original song is it's really beautiful and it's one of the reasons I like the song. However, if you're playing that in the club, unless you're doing three or four EDM tracks back to back and they're all powerful, and then you hit that big break, then, you know, then people are like, oh yeah, this is great. The problem is I want to be able to use this track all the time. So that's why I'm making this a quick hitter. When I do video editing, I always leave myself a little bit of leader in the front here. Um, if you drop it into the track and maybe you, you want just a little bit of space. Well, if you end the other side of the track here, right at the ending mark, 
then often you'll have no extra leeway. You'll have no extra room. So I always leave myself at least, well, usually five or sometimes even nine. This is marked at the nine, as you can see here. See, it says nine. In this case, I've left 32 beats here. I usually leave 32 beats as it's a good mixing intro. Sometimes I'll do 64 if there's a, a good tempo break, like a very soft one into a very hard one. Uh, in this case, I just want it to be a quick hitter, so I'll leave it at 32. Sounds like... Past the intro here, you'll see I've added some bass beats right down here, and if we zoom into that here, and if I single that out, it just sounds like this. That's it. And the reason I did that is to give it some power as it goes right into the chorus. I've cut out the whole dead intro as, you know, the, the singing is beautiful, but I need something that goes right into the, the powerfulness of the song as it's a quick hitter. So uh, with that, that we blend it with the first beats from here and it sounds like this. Okay, so it goes right into the song from here. I'm not playing long clips of this because I would like this to be a good example for you guys, but also has to remain on YouTube because the content matching system matches anything over 10 seconds or so. So you can expect a lot of samples uh, very quickly, but you know, nothing, nothing long. And it goes right into the powerful part. This starts at 17, uh, mark 17 here, as you can see, it says 17 up here. And it starts like, Okay, and then as it goes into the main really powerful part, it'll hit these bass beats down here. These ones are actually different and I've taken these from the actual song itself. As you zoom in, you can see it says Rio featuring Eugene, one in a million. <clears throat> this is the, actually the opening intro which I've taken, I've cut it and I've moved it under here so it adds a little bit more uh, diversity to the mix. Okay, so if I play this together, okay, and you, you can hear the boom, 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 boom in the background, which in the club, this, that'll make a huge difference because you'll have that bass pounding right into the drop. Right there, and then you have that small break here, just a little bit of silence right before it just hits on the floor and then people will go crazy. That's the idea anyways. Here is the main chorus where they have all the EDM goodness going on. And then I've cut the ending part too because it goes right back into Eugene singing by himself solo. That's good, but I wanted something a little bit more powerful. So it ends, whoops, it ends like this. And it actually goes into the whoa, into the song. However, I noticed here that I can actually layer over the vocals over top of it. Okay, so that starts the vocals here and that's going to play during the track. So as you play it, okay, so it, now it's playing alongside this one, so it'll, it'll be a much more powerful for the floor. I was trying to keep all this uh, sample all the way through until the end of the drop over here, but I found that this this build up here isn't very strong and these these two parts here were fighting a lot so I've actually just volumed it down I use volume extensively you can also use the the fader like this but I tend not to use that a anymore as this is a set curve along here and yeah it's possible to adjust it by the length of it if you go back or go uh, extend it you can adjust this curve or you can use different types, whether it's a straight line or a quick fade out like this. There's many different types. However, it's not as good as manual control. I can set the volume, if you look here, I can set the volume exactly the way I want it to go. So here it's minus 1.6 because I don't want it to be too over. Goes to minus five and then basically it goes down to infinity here. Yeah, infinity there. Okay, so that hits the break and then you have the Okay, and then it goes right back into that really hard EDM chorus, which is exactly what I want for a, a quick hitter. And at the end of the song here, now you'll see that I have an, a, 
beats out. Now this beats out used to go a lot further. Actually, if I move this, you'll see how much further it goes. That's the very tail end of it, which sounds like that's the tail end of the song. But if I extend this, then you will see. Okay, so it went about to there. And the original was, see, now it's here. And the original was there. So I've cut it by at least 32 beats. So that will make it a nice quick hitter. Total length of the song here is running is about 2.30. You can just barely see it up there is 2.30. And the original was much longer. I think it was about five minutes for this one. Okay, so that about wraps up this week's show. Uh, please subscribe. And if you guys have any topics or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm very happy to talk to fellow DJs and you know people who are doing the same kind of stuff that I'm doing. Uh, you can always learn something new every day. So. Um, have a great day and see you next week. Peace. Oh! Hey guys, this is Rick here in uh, <laughs> Tabitha. Oh, so uh, let me show you a little bit about that now. <clears throat> I just took a photo of myself. Excellent. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the channel. Oh, phone. <laughs>